Mrs. Cooper. I don't know whether I'm going to change the um, name of the channel because I quite like it as it is. But yeah, last weekend was my wedding. And this weekend, I'm back in action, feeling good because we are taking Donny to a horse show. And I am so excited because Donny hasn't been showing since May, I don't think. He's obviously had nearly all the summer off um, with ulcer treatment. He's all clear now. He's come back into work. Um, Donny has now walked trot and cantering under saddle. But I feel like doing a ridden show would be a big ask, especially as today's show is an evening performance show, which Donny has never done an evening performance before. Um, so today we're just going to Forest Edge Arena for the Hoys Gala show, which is just down the road. So thumbs up for distance. It's like a 15 minute drive and we're just doing in hand and hopefully We'll get through to the evening performance and we can do some evening performance um, championships. Oh, sorry I am out of breath. I'm literally recovering from the worst cold ever. Um, so I don't know how well running's going to go today. Oh, because I like I'm out of breath just walking to the field. But there you go. You have to just push through these things. Here's the boys. Uh, we're going to get them in, give them some breakfast, and then the mammoth task of plotting Donny, who has the world's longest neck. Right then, boys. So, yeah, we're off to Forest Edge for the pre-hoys gala. I've just got Donny in. I'm feeling a bit lost with this in-hand showing because I feel like I haven't really packed. All I've got in the lorry is like a bridle and a grooming kit. It's so bizarre. Um, and two outfits, uh, one for day and one for evening. Yeah, I'm excited because I just love going to shows. It's like my favourite thing ever. But in-hand showing, I used to love it. But with Johnny, it's quite difficult because he's a very big horse. His legs are a bit all over the shop. And I'm not quite sure what he's going to do. I would much rather be on his back because I feel much safer on his back. But we'll see how it goes. Johnny's got a lovely Thermotex to wear. Um, he's just finished his dinner, I think. Well, maybe not. Um, and I bathed him yesterday, so all I've got to do is plait. And I haven't plaited him in a long time, so I don't think these plaits are going to be good, but let's give it a go. This is Donny without his rug on, and honestly, I would like to say this is the best I've ever seen him look. And his coat looks fabulous. Very excited, and I just think if he was going to Hoy's, I wouldn't even need to clip him. He'd look amazing. So yeah, I am going to just give him a quick flick over, stick a Cermatex on, and just focus on that absolute bushy mane which i've let get a bit feral so i have just finished plaiting donny and i do think they these are the best plaits that i've actually done so far mum's just picking his feet out now and gonna um clean him up but very very happy with them plaits good boy i'm dressed horse is ready we're gonna go ah and i'll see you when we get there we've just arrived and there are some really nice, warm, bloody types here. I don't usually see that many big horses in hand, but there looks to be some really, really nice ones here today. And the lorry park is full, and we're parked next to a fellow AM horse box owner. But um, I need to go get my number. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of time. I'm probably going to be late, but I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not too worried today. You going to be a good boy? So here's me and Donnie entering our very first class of the day, which was the new combination class. So that's for horses and handlers that were a new partnership in competing from 2023. Um, Donnie was super. He come in here so chilled. He had his ears forward. He was just being such a good boy. Um, I wore my tweed jacket with my shirt and tie, a flat cap and some brown cord trousers. 
Now, ideally, I should have worn like a brighter colour trouser to stand out against his legs, but the only other colour that goes in my jacket is blue, and I don't want to look like I'm wearing jeans. So, yeah, I was just vibing with the outfit I already had with my brown gloves and my show cane. We also had to wear white armbands if we were home produced. So if you're wondering what is the thing on my arm, it's like a white bow tie thing that I found just to tie on my arm. So yeah, I was just walking him around and I honestly thought Donnie looked stunning. He is a little bit too laid back. I mean, it's quite hard with some horses to make them look good in hand because they're just naturally very chill in hand as like the Welsh ponies can look a bit more sparky in hand. Um, so yeah, but I was loving life. This was so relaxing compared to the ridden showing, just walking around and relaxing. Um, and basically all you do in a in hand class is you enter, you should be on the outside. You walk around a couple of times until the judge um, and steward ask you to stop. You usually stop in a corner and then you trot round by yourself to the back of the line um, before being pulled in. So it's it's really easy. I really enjoy it in hand. But yeah, there was this little Exmoor pony that's Christy and he's like two years old. Um, super, super cute. And then there was a little Welsh pony in the ring too. So three in it. Wasn't a huge class. Um, and I knew the judge, as soon as I come in the ring, she breeds Welsh A's. And I thought she isn't gonna like Donnie very much. So I didn't have very high expectations of this class, even though Donnie is absolutely fabulous to me and lots of other judges. I know this judge, her heart is in the Welsh's, so I thought she was probably gonna love this little Welsh pony that trotted off first. So then it was our turn to trot to the back and my run is so weird. Like, I don't know why I run like that, but it's hard to like stay at the horse's side, run as fast as you can without letting them break into canter, but also giving them their head so they can sort of move freely through their front end. <laughs> but yeah, he did a lovely job. He trotted up really nicely and then we stood square for the judge um, and then she just called us in in any order. So here is Donnie stood up for the judge and it's important that you stand um, in front of the judge and step to one side when the judge is looking at certain parts of the horse so you should stand in front of the judge when the horse is looking when the judge is looking around the outside of your horse and when the judge comes to the front you always step to one side um, and then she was happy like she was very quick at looking around him and i just think she looked at him and thought that's not my cup of tea um you know some judges specialize in certain breeds and others in other breeds and as soon as she looked around him i thought I don't think she's very interested in him but I was pleased with how Donnie was going and I just walked turned this little teardrop shape before trotting back at the judge and Donnie has lovely straight movement and he does have lovely confirmation he stumbled a little bit here just from being pure lazy <laughs> but I thought he looked really fabulous and I was very very happy with what a good boy he was which is the main thing So we were pulled in second, which, you know, is fine. Um, the judge just, I don't think she liked um, platted. She chose Eminem Harry's all day. I thought Donnie was the nicest one in there, but that is just my opinion. And you have to bear that in mind when you go showing that when the judge is judging you, it is just their opinion and your results can really vary no matter what the show. But I was so proud of Donnie. He was so good. I mean, really couldn't fault him. So because he'd become second, it meant he qualified for the evening performance. So at this point, I was unsure whether I was going to stay or not. But I really wanted Donnie to experience an evening performance show because I want to do a ridden evening performance and I don't want him to explode the very first time we do one. So, yeah, here we are just trotting around um, and then we're going to go in and do a second class in a minute. I want to drop my rosette so I spun around to grab it because I couldn't be bothered to try and get a steward to go and collect it. <laughs> So 
So our second class was the ridden hunter slash sports horse warm blood class. It was sort of very varied. So basically anything plaited and a horse could essentially enter it. Um, and this was quite a big class. There was five in this, um, a real variety. There was two hunters, Donnie and this other big black hunter. And then a couple of like riding horse types. So yeah, a little bit of everything. And some of the horses were very, very fine. And then this hunter was like pretty chunky. So yeah, um, we just walked around and Donnie was foot perfect. This is chestnut. This was super Araby. I'm guessing this is a part of Arab. Look at the way it holds its tail. Yeah, so we walked around. We did our trot up. Um, and then I will just skip to him doing his little individual show. finished our in-hand classes he comes second in the first season oh my goodness Donny um, and fourth in the hunter sports horse one which was a bit disappointing I think the judge I know well I know the judge breeds um, Welsh ponies and I think she sort of went on movement rather than type she sort of went for the more flashier ones um, yeah but yeah I'm really happy with how Donny has behaved um, ah! <laughs> I've decided I'm going to stay and do the evening because he's never done an evening performance and I wanted him to come and see how he was going to be with all the lights and the and the action. So he's qualified for the home produced championship, <laughs> the gelding championship um, and the, the non-Welsh championship. So it, there's lots of competition. I don't think we're going to come anywhere, but I would like to just stay and enjoy the day there's loads of my showing friends here so it's quite nice just it's like a little social event and it's good for Donny to learn that he's got to just stand on the lorry it's not always going to be just in and out but yeah I'm going to just have a bit of food relax just maybe go watch some classes we'll see see how long this hay net lasts because Donny is the ultimate gannet aren't you Hello. so we've just been chilling napping Donny has been having lots of love and attention, which is lovely. Look how lovely he is. He's lovely. Um, and I just thought I'd have a little chat whilst we're waiting for our evening performance about a bit of a Finley update and what we've been doing with him. And um, the answer is really not a lot, just been sort of tootling him over. And we have booked London International, so we have got that to look forward to in December, which will be our first stay away show because we haven't got to any stay away shows this year. Um, so I'm hoping to do some dressage with Finley, <laughs> with Donny. I'd really like to have some lessons with Justine and I'd like to go to some hound exercise and do some jumping. I've got my eye on a hunter trial at the end of October, which have got some really diddly little fences. So I'd really, really love to do that because I, I think he really enjoys the jumping, even though it needs work. What's the matter? You okay? So yeah, but tonight, I don't I don't think we're gonna um, place or anything, but I just wanna have fun with my boy -o, Cause I feel like we haven't had a lot of like, um, show bonding time. Um, the last few shows we've been to have all been county shows where you just sort of go, you do your class, you go home. And this is kind of like a little prep for if we want to do an overnight show. And I think it'd be awesome. It's just seeing how his stress level copes with the show, really. <laughs> At the minute, he's just really bored. Yeah, he says in hand is really boring. Um, Lewis has actually come to watch me 
earlier and he said in hand showing is the most boring of every discipline on the planet so <laughs> but strangely enough he's actually coming back later because he loves the food at this venue <laughs> so he's coming back just to have dinner because i'm not gonna cook tonight so he said he'll come here watch and get some food so yeah and he's got spud at the minute spud's gone home because it would be a very very long day for spud um but donnie's been really good i'm gonna take him out in a minute and just hand graze him because he's been such a good boy um and it's just really nice even though we haven't really received any mega results or anything we might do later who knows but um it's just been really nice just chatting to loads of people that I haven't seen in ages. Um, loads of people from where I used to live have come over. Um, it's about an hour from Cambridge year end. So yeah, it's just nice to have some old faces and have a chat. And this is very like chill. And um, Donnie hasn't put a foot wrong. He's been such a good boy, haven't you? <coughs> and he smells amazing, don't you? You smell amazing. So yeah, that's just a little update on life and the future but hopefully Donnie will be out showing again properly next year So I am finally finished from a day showing. I don't know what the time is. It must be eight o'clock. Um, Donnie was amazing. I was so happy with him. He was such a good boy. The evening performance was really buzzy and he was lovely. He just lit up, but he wasn't too much for me. So I've had a lovely day and I've been chatting with my friends. I've really enjoyed it, but probably our worst results on paper. We didn't come anywhere in the evening. The judge just didn't like him, um, which is fair enough because, you know, a judge is just one person's opinion. But in my eyes, he is incredible. And I had loads of people come over to me, just, you know, friends um, and other show people. And they said, like, he is such a nice horse and he's going to be amazing. And some people were like, oh, I can't believe he didn't get placed in the championship. But I was so happy and... I feel like today we've really bonded. Sorry, I'm so sweaty. Um, me and Donnie have really bonded today. It's been really lovely and he's been so well mannered considering how long he's had to wait for the evening. Um, and it's these sort of days where I sort of love him. A, like, I don't want to say I love him a bit more, but I feel like we gel because he has been so good and really been there, like been a good boy for me. Yeah, so I'm really excited for the future and hoping to do some cross country or hunter trials over winter, which is going to be really interesting. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog and I will see you all next week. Bye.